either. Early access. Feedback. What I want to know is... Is the music copyrighted? Look at that, I just put my specs on the screen, look. Is the music copyrighted or not? That's what I want to know. I suspect it is. The default music for Shapes 2, composed by Peter Simulus, composer of Shapes 1, with some tracks from Peter. Hmm. It's always a risk, isn't it? Are they going to get DMCA'd or not? Hotkeys. Escape. Research with T. Don't need more than 60 FPS for streaming. MSAA, Forex, Extreme Shadows, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll give it a whirl. Color mode RGB. Okay, let's try that. It's not fun to stay in the DMCA, actually. It's pretty annoying. New game. Uh, copy, paste, cost free, platform limit 100%, gold multiplier. Start on normal. Operator certification, whatever that is. Seed. So what do we do? Just make a factory. Welcome to your certification. I'll have to figure out my overlay in a sec. Uh, the Vortex requires us to evaluate your factory operator skills, deliver the requested shapes as efficient as possible. We might reward you with upgrades and tech. Ah, and you can have as many buildings as you want, but please don't damage them. I will strive for efficiency and build no spaghetti factories. Dave, don't play this game. I will not damage any buildings. <laughs> you literally have to sign. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Can you tell the camera? Oh, jeez. This is insane. Wait, you just installed it, Dave. I wish it was multiplayer, I honestly do. Um, place four extractors. Okay. It's hard to rotate. Oh, God. Use belts to deliver the, vor deliver the shapes to the vortex on the right. Okay. Place anchors with C while dragging a belt. What's an anchor for? I had a feeling it was going to do that. Turn a corner. <laughs> As if there's a bridge. Is it going to eject it? No, that's not a corner. Look at that, just like punts it over. How do you fix that? Hold and move. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa, what is going on here? Some weird gated system? More clicking, press C and then continue dragging, gotcha. Knowledge panel. Welcome to certification. Shapes are composed of smaller sections named quarters that can be separated and reorganized. Similar to cakes, shapes can have multiple layers, each with four distinct quarters. Different types of quarters can be found by expanding deeper into space. You can inspect shapes on the shape viewer by click left clicking any shape in the user interface. Camera automatically snaps to multiples of 30 degrees by default. Get lost, press H to jump back to your home vortex. Delete a structure with right click, I figured that out. Delete an area with shift right click. Uh, move the cursor over building or platform and press C to quickly select it in the toolbar. Oh, I see. So it's like a eyedropper. Mirroring. Done with F. Use Shift F to mirror on the other axis. Floor visibility. Press V to toggle the visibility for higher floors. Control Z and Control Y? I don't know many factory games with an undo redo. Blimey. Toolbar. Use the toolbar shortcuts to quickly select slots on the toolbar. Also use plus, uh, minus and plus. Okay. Press tab to switch between building variants. Back tick to switch category. Okay. Look at that, the way that works, you drag it out and then you drag it down. That's so weird. Place anchors to create belt paths and multiple turns in one go. Oh, I see. You literally just drag it out, then press C, press C, and carry on. Drag from existing belts to automatically split them into existing belts to merge them. Okay. Once you've dragged out a second, um, a second floor, you can transport items between floors and even place buildings. While dragging, press and hold E to move up a floor and Q to go down a floor. So automatically place a conveyor lift. You need multiples of a building per full belt. You can see how many you need in the details panel. When you have it selected, buildings per full belt, it depends on your upgrade level. What? So it actually tells you the ratios? Blimey. Press F to flip the edge of a belt to the opposite corner for more refined control. The quarters that make up a shape can be separated and altered. Building of a cutting buildings of the cutting type will assist you in isolating or separating or swapping quarters. The half destroyer uses the isolate laser to disintegrate the west half of a shape, outputting anything that remains. Right, so it literally just removes the green bit. Cutter. Once a lot, the cutter utilizes a holographic blade to split a shape in two, separating west from east. Look at that. The shape goes in, it splits it, and then... A swapper. Once unlocked, the swapper utilizes holographic blades allowing it to simultaneously split shapes and swap the west halves, outputting... As if. Okay. Place three half destroyers to cut shapes into half. You need multiple buildings per belt. Mount is shown on the right. Try 
Strike to split his merge belt. Yeah, got that. Live the half circles. This is not an idle game. Why not attract some squares already? What? Wait a minute. Oh, right. So you can get circles from here. You can get squares from here. That's what it's saying. It wants me to grab some stuff from here. Do the remaining half circles and squares? What does this void do with all these shapes? Teach them. Place a rotator between half destroyers to produce quarters. Wait. Place a rotator between half destroyers to produce quarters. You want me to put a rotator here and here and here. And then you want me to cut it. The vortex accepts any shape rotation. That's not linked for some reason. It won't let me yeet them, do I have to just merge them back in? Where'd that come from? I mean, isn't that just getting rid of, like, you're literally taking a, 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 a puck with, like, four pieces on it, destroying half of it, and then destroying the other half. So you're left with a quarter, so you end up with a quarter of what you started with. What's the point of that? Meanwhile, over here... Wants me to, like, split these things and burn half of them as well. Vortex only wants quarters. Okay, so it wants it doesn't, it wants half squares now. So I gotta split these, but I can't. Don't know why. Of the remaining shapes. Well, I tried to put cutting down, it wouldn't let me a second ago. It's going to tell me to do the same thing, isn't it? It wants, like, rotated pieces. Um. 
Just like the vortex. The vortex that loves mathematical pieces. It's just as convoluted as doing science packs in Vactorio. Kind of. Once it starts asking for like a puck with a square, a triangle, a circle, and then something else on it, and then it'll like, I want red squares. I can see where this is going. Unlock the signs. What have we unlocked? Stacker and second floor. Puck can have five layers. Yeah. You can see how that can get complicated, Dave. Stacker and second floor. You were awarded with a stacker and second floor. You need to stack shapes and build multi-layer factories. Let's see what you can do with them. Hmm. New upgrades. A cutter. So we don't have to burn half of it now. We can cut it and split it. A swapper, which we saw earlier. Trash, which sounds like a vortex. The 90 degree CCW rotator. Whatever that is. Stack a belt, third floor. A label. That's handy. Okay. Stackers are slow. Always place multiple of them. Okay. Place six stackers. Where? Where do you want six stackers? Anywhere? Am I missing something? Can I just put them anywhere? Supply the stackers with circles and squares. Yeah, okay. Oh, I just pressed the thing. What, it wants me to provide them with full circles, so I need new ones, right? Connect floors by pressing Q and E. I'm not doing that yet, game. I need to split these. Circles on top, squares on bottom. See you later, Andy lad. Right, so we need to send a square. Oh my god. I'm going to have to yeet the belt over there, aren't I? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, so now we're going to go up. And across.
That's an interesting way of elevating. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Right, so we've got to get a square in the bottom layer here and then put a circle on top of it. So I guess I just have to deliver all this down there, right? Like that. And then you basically elevate this one up. And deliver it like that. And I presume out comes the thing that you want. That's like a preview, right? It's just waiting for this. Does that hold up until the circle gets delivered? Why is that locked? Why does it have to go there, you scumbag game? Those pieces remind me of something. It's not Trivial Pursuit, it's something else. Right, so what else did it want? It wanted a quarter of this. I need to rotate it. Oh, I've just put that in the way, haven't I? Come back. Can you move this? Oh, that's not good, is it? That's going to delete the whole lot. Controls it. Hey! How did that guy highlight this? He highlighted the whole lot and then duped it somehow. Control X. I can't select it all. I'll just do it again. Basically, he... The rotator... No, it was a cutter. Followed by... Rotator. Followed by cutter, was it? I think it was another cutter. Probably that. There you go. Then this actually wants to work on making them always visible. Um, okay. Cutting step by step. Obtain two research points by completing side tasks. This is a side task, presumably. That one, though, is a, a circle on a circle, is it not? So for that, you need to get a circle, then stack another circle on it. What are these? That's square, isn't it? That's circle. Is there a colorblind mode? I yes, there was. There was a there was something under settings. You had RGB and then RGB colorblind like that. Let's 
So that turns it into like orange and stuff, I guess. Don't really know. There's also RYB. It adds a pattern, I see. Can't be the only one that's incredibly confused by this game. What are you confused about? So, simplistically, this is producing that kind of shape. So if we want that kind of shape, we get an extractor. And we get it. That's basically step one. So it produces those shapes. So on the bottom left, if I want to make circle on top of circle, so it's a layer of... It's like a cake, isn't it? It's one layer of circle shapes, which is there, and then put another one of that on top of it. So that's what I'm trying to do. So we can get those things like that. So we've got two lots of circles now. How do you know the circles? Look at the shape. Every puck has got four pieces to it. And then it can have like multiple layers. So if you look at the square one, which we've got, the little puck comes out with square pieces on it. It's all about the shapes on there, not the puck itself. So to stack that on top of that, we need one of those stacker things. And then I remember it saying, make sure you print out a load of them. How can I punt these into here when they're all locked? All of these things are locked into the vortex, so how can I do the side task? Let me try a different level. I can't deliver a side task if it's locked out, can I? Should be four up on each side. It's not though, is there? Look. No. Oh. It only shows them when you go into belt mode. Useful. Okay, right, so, uh, stacker. We want one set high and one set low. The result is to go in there. So it says the ratio over there is six of them. So then we basically bring that in. And then with this one, we just elevate it up. Bring that in. And then the result can come out like that, can't it? And that should do circle on top of circle, I believe. Look at that, the little thing. The little thing squishes it in. <laughs> the next layer up, it squishes it in so you can see it. That's hilarious. Uh, Solid Bond, thank you for 102 months. Uh, Birch Jew, thank you for subbing with Prime. So I think that should deliver on this now, won't it? You scumbag. Eventually punts them in. Whee! And then the same thing with square on square.
It looks like a game you play when you chat time you should be in bed. Pretty much. You also need square on square on square. Yes, we do. That's interesting. So to get square on square on square, you'd, you'd have to... Um, you could do it here. But then... Is this the only place we can use at the moment? I take it it is. It's, this doesn't have enough for square on square on square, does it? Unless we take that and split them. And then just stack another belt of squares on top of it. So half of them are square on square and the other half are square on square on square. Your factory's already a mess, Dave. <laughs> Legend. Where's the um, splitter? Can we split again? Does it just automatically create the split? I can't remember. You only need one feed for a triple stack. It'll just be slower. I was just going to split this and then feed that in. Oh, that split? Hmm. Interesting. It's almost done with double stack. You can just add an extra belt. Yeah. Just take a while doing that, though, doesn't it? I reckon we should have three of these stackers. basis that if that needs six to make one of them half of that is the maximum it could do anyway you can upgrade belts and stackers and cutters the research points steady on let's get used to the game <laughs> this looks like a joke Vortex doesn't want double stack ones anymore. Nah, the Vortex will take whatever you give it. Yeah, you could stop delivering them, yeah, sure. It doesn't matter. We could use them for something else, I guess. Actually, it wants another four. <laughs> Don't anger the Vortex. Yep, we got that done, we got that done. That one's being done. We got this one here, which is a weird one. It's uh, effectively... What comes out of there? It's half of a square. Wait, didn't we unlock a cutter? Does a cutter um, cut it in half or burn it? There was one of them that split. Was that... That literally cut it in two rather than burn both halves.
Do you see how the way that makes it is to burn half of it off? I think there was another thing you can unlock where it just cuts it in two. You have to unlock it. Uh, cutting step by step. Unlock. Unlock. So isn't this just take what you had and burnt and cut it in half? Upgrades. Cutting. Half destroyer, 20 meters to 30 per meter. Swapper. Separates the west. This is it. I want this. Six points. I'm going to save up for that. I want that. I don't see the point in burning half of it away because you're just wasting a resource. It's a minute, not a meter. Oh, 20 per minute. Yeah, like this, if we just cut that in half now, it will supply that, won't it? And the same thing over there. Oh, wait, what? I swore one of the things was a... That. I knew there was. That is the wrong square, you're correct. Should have been this one. Why is that not counting? Oh, it's a circle on a circle. Numpty. Although we're getting this milestone done, so that's a bonus. Where's the circle on circle gone? Is that this one? This one. It's this one we should have been splitting. Yeah. Ironically, though, Rome. It's still counted towards the milestone, so we'll take it. We've got six points here. That's the one to unlock first, I reckon. This is going to take a while. 33 out of 320. How do you speed the game up? <laughs> that one there is just basically... annoying. So there's different ways of doing that. But I reckon once we've got the cutter, we can just take the square on square, which is this, and then we just cut it into four pieces. The only way to speed it up is to make more. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, as soon as we've delivered this, we should be able to unlock the cutter and then we can deliver that. Oh, he's reckon. Wait, this one here is a quad? 
Isn't it basically that with another layer on top? I think it might be. That's literally half full, isn't it, that belt? hilarious the way that works <laughs> why not double stack the square with one corner double stack the square with one corner are you talking about this milestone here okay so I'm going to do that in a, in a minute when I get this unlocked because this cutter, the way I figure it is this piece here is basically that there. But for one of these can make four of them if we can cut it. At the moment, the only thing we can do is burn half of it off and then burn the other half off. So we end up with one quarter of a piece. Once we unlock the cutter, we can split it and split it again. And we'll end up with four quarters for each piece. Which seems quite efficient. Recycling milestone shapes. See, I feel like this should be worth more research points than some of these. Like, that's a bit of a pain to produce compared to some of these. You already have it, just double stack it. We could make them now. I'm not saying we can't. I'm just saying we can make them more efficiently in a minute. pet shift select area that's what I was missing before like that the pyramid is back up when we're able to make more stacks it gets me faster which pyramid We've got six points, assuming it let me do what I want now. We can just unlock the cutter. Separates east and west half. So under here, cutting, and I've got two options. Half destroyer, use tab to switch variants. Half destroyer and cutter. So this could now be replaced with an actual cutter rather than a half destroyer. Let me just, I'm not sure how it works though. Destroyer, cutter. Oh god no, what are you doing? Interesting.
It says you need four of these for a full belt. We've only got a half a belt. I'll tell you what we could do. That's not joined, that doesn't work. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to rotate it, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, where's the rotator? How many rotators do you need? Two. <laughs> Interesting. There's your little double stack quarters now. I don't know if that's sufficient or not, like, it's not throwing anything away. Oh god, what's going on? No. may not have purchased some new headphones that look a lot like Paul's. I blame pups. Wait, what? <laughs> I get the feeling this um, throughput on this is nowhere near where it should be. Probably need to double up on everything here. I reckon you could do another branch off that way. Use my link as well, thank you. Um, yeah, splitter. So we're gonna cut like that. So after it gets split, you wanna merge them two together into a rotator. How do you... is it F? There we go. So now I want to select that. Then... How do you... is it F to copy? 
There was a way you can copy it, but flip it. Have I just not unlocked that yet? You can double the cutter doing quarters on a splitting into halves. We'll divide it up for two quarters. I'm splitting it, then I'm rotating it. But I don't know if it needs a rotating a rotation each. You have to unlock copy pasta. Rotate his R if it's flip. Yeah, but I don't think I can copy pasta yet. Like if I split that, how quick is that rotator? I actually don't know what the throughput is. The vortex indicates where they deliver the correct shapes. Red cross not required. Green check mark, correct, keep delivering. Grey, you delivered enough. Lock, correct, but future goal. Blueprint shape. Okay, so Senna don't want these anymore. Senna don't want them either. Grey means you've delivered enough. Uh, copy past the rotate and flip is from the start. So how do I do it then? Right, so the input comes in. Let's do it better. The input comes in, it's immediately rotated. And then... I want to cut it again and then we combine the lot and get out of there that's my thinking so we go like that and see what happens copy paste is a milestone okay So that initial split takes time, doesn't it? That's definitely a bottleneck. Otherwise, it seems efficient. Okay, I think we've figured out one pattern. So I guess I can't copy this then, right? The pet. The only problem is because we're dropping down, it takes ages to deliver. That drop down is quite slow compared to a normal belt. Both levels to deliver to Vortex. True, I could have just stayed up though, couldn't I? Yeah, good call. Yeah, I forgot that the um, the Vortex delivery has jumps at each level. You might have to jump up from this, because this looks like a full belt here. Although that, that rise takes time. I don't know, that's, I can keep up with it. I 
There you go, that's racking up fairly quickly. So, this is effectively what we've just done. Oh my god, looks like faff. Assume we need to deliver thousands and thousands. The Vortex just gets greedier and greedier, doesn't it? It's like a big drug, drug addiction game. Like, I feel like this is the, the access, like the gateway drug. Yeah, just deliver some stuff. And then it's like, yeah, just do this, do that, do that. Next thing, it's just monstrous demand. Yeah, so what I did here, I'd love to be able to just copy paste that for that solution right there. But we said I can't do it. Is that definitely a tech unlock? Cutting, stacking, painting, whatever that is. Train capacity. There's a third floor there. Takes four tech points for a label. Ridiculous. Bent stacker stacks the to the top shape on the bottom and outputs to the side. Okay. 180 degree rotator. 90 degree counterclockwise rotator. Destroy shapes can be used for directional purposes. Milestone, so you can create... Uh, Great blueprints so you can copy paste but need to unlock it. Ah, this one. Oh, just the copy and paste parts of your factory. Towards 11 new tasks. <laughs> so at the moment we're doing this one, is it? This floor here. Or we're doing this one. Rotate and cut, stacker and second floor. Blueprints. How do we unlock this? I'm not I'm not clear on how we get to tech level. Hang on, is it here? We've got to deliver this lot. That's still padlocked. Right, so we've got to deliver this milestone to get that tech unlocked. That brings a new task. Then we've got to do that to get to tech level three. Is that how it works? So I need to do that one and that one. If I deliver these two milestones here, we get blueprints. Understand. Okay, so that is a quarter of a square with a quarter of a circle on top. There is the quarter square. Click any shape in the interface to open the shape viewer. Splits the shape into individual layers. Shape code. Q ru ru dash dash. That's amazing. <laughs> right, we're not going to need this for a while. We'll sack that off. Right, there's the old quarter. Although it's being built in a horrible way. This quarter's better. And that's not needed anymore. And that's not needed anymore. So we can take them. But what I haven't done is make the quarter circles yet. Or rather we did, but not in an efficient way. This is the old style burn, isn't it, I think? And that's the burn tool. You even combined them already, what do you mean?
Use shift delete to delete an entire area. No, that sounds really dangerous. I think I have to rebuild my whole thing, Dave. Lol. And then we just want to combine it with all that, don't we? Right side, you're already making the square with the circle. Well, this one. Yes, we are. So we can just split that, can't we? That's true, Vrom. That's very true. I think this needs to be a separate belt. Just found out about this game this morning. Yeah, I only found about about. I uh, can't talk. I only found out about it about an hour ago. <laughs> okay, so that's doing that milestone. So this one here is. Have we got a standard square? Which is that one? If we take a standard square and just split it. But we have to split it in a weird way. How does that work? Do you just have to basically cut it and then burn half off? Is what it looks like to me. We're going to need these. It's, it's difficult to know what you can get rid of. So that is just... A full piece, split it in half and burn half. Split, no quarters and then stack two. What does that mean? Split, rotate and then combine. Wait a minute. How does that work? can retain only one piece and combine it with the other. I think I have to start again so they have full halves and quarters coming from the main part. Oh, I'm just winging it, Dave.
See, that doesn't get you this, does it? That's just get you this. Like, I don't quite understand how we're recombining unless we're, unless we're burning half of this off. Splits like that, so we need to split it again. Combining in a stacker. So we're combining. Are we rotating this or splitting this in any way, or just taking that and combining it somehow? If you combine that with that, I just don't get how it works. You just end up with a square again. Split into quarters, hang on. Doesn't work. Split into, into quarters, right. So we do have to split into quarters, this is what I was saying. Shape preview, show the result before shapes even arrive. Allowing you to build faster. I think I need to move this one over a bit. Let's do one half and then duplicate it. Right, so I need to combine that one with that one, and that one with that one, don't I? I think I need to combine one and three, two and four, I believe. So if we take a combiner here... Rotate to proper corners, then stack. Okay, what rotator have we got? Uh, clockwise, okay. Honestly, the mental agility you need. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Well, we can start yeeting them. So then we just need to copy this. If only I had copy pasta. this is going to work so well with um because they're all clockwise rotators wait why is that no longer working is that because that's stuck That's wrong. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. There was a... Uh, in my head, my brain knew that because this is a clockwise rotator, it wasn't going to work. So, if we've got that shape, we need to rotate this one this time. That's right, isn't it? What a faff.
There you go. See, I really, really want a blueprint now. Let's go. I'll have that there, thanks. Now this one... This doesn't line up so well. Yeah, it does. We need to rotate that one. And we need to rotate that one. does not seem complicated whatsoever. <laughs> you can, I did see counterclockwise rotators. But at least that's delivering on the major goal. Which means that we then get blueprints. There we go. So while that's going on, I guess we could look at some of these pinned ones. There's that one there, which I thought we were delivering, but apparently not. I think I got distracted. Uh, is it this one was going to do it? No. This, we need to hit this and quarter it, don't we? We basically just dice that up. How many can it take? Four off a full belt. Do I need to rotate these before I split them? I presume we do. necessary I think it is yeah I thought you do you do need to rotate I want to split them again. Problem now is how they're spaced.
I don't know how quickly it's going to help up. Yeah, because the blade on your screen, the blade is always running left, right. You can see the blue bit. And so if you have to kind of rotate it to get it to cut it again. Why is that not help us in? Because I'm an idiot. I wonder if you can later get a splitter that um, cuts at 90 degrees so the weight comes in. I know what these things remind me of. Um, what was that game? There's a game called like Othello, it has like black and white pieces. And they looked a lot like this. This is backed up, isn't it? I reckon half and half. Now half that way. Uh, your top milestone got stopped early. Why? Where's that gone? Is that this one? Did I break something? I must have broke something. That was feeding it with squares, was it? And it's <laughs> use them for the other ones. <laughs> Genius play. What was it getting? Um, what's this doing again? It's putting a full circle on top of full square, presumably. So I just take this full square. Right, so one of them's presumably gone grey now. Oh, he doesn't want these anymore. It's fed up with them. It's like, no, stop sending them. I hate them now. Eight research points available. Um, I think we've got enough to deal with at the moment. They're being dealt with. Is that starting to flow through now? This one here is very similar to that there. The only difference is it's like split in a weird way and then recombined. 
it's effectively that shape diced into quarters but then very specifically put back together no different from the corners you did before it is like you can't just recombine these because if you look they're all over the place Not as straightforward as it looks. If you split that into two pieces, what you end up with is that and that. So now you got to split that again. This is where we really need the counterclockwise. I think. Can we get that yet? Counterclockwise rotator. That one. Because you've got to get clever now. Doesn't matter for this bit. This can just be rotated, I think. Now we end up with the exact same thing. And then if we cut that... Those pieces on the inside are the same, and those pieces on the outside are the same. So you could then just rotate this clockwise and rotate this one clockwise and then combine them you have what you need. Uh, D22, did I say thank you for 95 months? Compact 56, so this is what airport baggage bounce are like behind the scenes. Can you imagine? Like there's baggage handlers behind the scenes going, do we need to rotate that and then split it? This is a clockwise. Scrambles your head thinking about it, no. This is taxing. I don't have a clue what's going on. I love her. <laughs> We're just making shapes, bro. What don't you understand?
You basically use the machines to just rotate and chop pieces to get the shapes that the, it wants. That's all you're literally doing. This one here is a weird one because it's like half... It's, it's a circular piece split in half and you can use both pieces. But this one is a square on a square and then split in half combined with that. That's a bit of a faff to make that. Half an Aztec temple. Hmm. I'm just looking around for what we've already got. So we've already got the circle here. This is um that half of what we need. The tricky bit really is like when you split pieces like that, some of them will come out, you know, top left, bottom right, top left, top right. You can't work with that. You need everything to be the same to work with it properly. You can't combine that with something else. So if we want to use this, for example, that's like a bottom half and a top half. We want them all to be the same. So you could... Rotate that one twice, and rotate that one twice, and then you always end up with the same thing. So now you can use that belt, because it's always got the same piece and the same orientation. Some belts have rotators and some won't. Hmm... Next, you need a blue bottom left square with a red top right green. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see it going there. Yeah, totally. But that's basically that half, isn't it? If you look at it. So then what we need to do is take a square on a square that's being split, which is happening a lot over here. That's a square on a square there. So we can basically just nick this. This here. We'll just borrow this belt. Because we're not using it for now. And then if we... Split that. But we're going to get the same problem again. We're going to end up with... Having to rotate things to get them consistent. Press tab or hold three to get the counterclockwise. They need turning 180 degrees though, it doesn't matter. So all you've got to do now is combine this with that. And that works. There we go. That looks like what it wanted. If you didn't notice, instead of going up a floor, then down to cross belts, there is a jump on the belt variant. So 
so what? Oh, you mean there's this to jump over? That's what you mean. So you can just throw things over rather than going up back down. I see what you mean. So we've done a milestone. Woohoo! I don't know, Chris. Prioritize milestones first. We recommend prioritize milestones shapes first and doing the side tasks after they're being delivered. Blueprints. We thought you might need this. Now you can copy and paste parts of your factory, but not the messy ones, please. That's an interesting one. That's a, that's a very interesting one. Because that's like, you take a circle, but you need to split one corner off and specifically replace it with a square. This one is a variation on what we just did. And then this is almost like that piece that it needs over there, isn't it? So you can basically, if you can, if you can make that, you've already got the square that you need to make that. How many upgrade points do we have? Four. Belts level one upgrade. Conveyor belt, 60 per minute to 90 per minute. Okay. So faster belt, faster cutting, faster stacking. Goes from 10 to 15. That's interesting, because that makes a stacker go a quarter of a speed of a belt. Because right now, it goes a sixth of the speed of a belt. That makes a cutter go from 15 a minute, which is a quarter of that. I think we get this. And it's, it's all tied up. That, that The stack is now the same speed as the cutter, which I think just helps. Select an area would shift and then press Control C to copy it. Okay. Control C. Control V? No, not Control V. Imagine if Satisfactory had put that in their game from the beginning. That would have been a bit of a game changer. Okay, is there anything that's no longer needed? These are no longer needed. Let's sack them. I don't understand why Control V doesn't work. That's weird. You just click it down instead. So this mechanism here is doing part of what we want for this one. It's just doing it with the wrong shape. But the actual combining part of it, splitting and combining, is exactly what we want. The only thing we have to do is feed it with a different shape. So if we remove the back of that, and I need to empty, oh, that's why you need trash for, interesting. That's why you need trash, isn't it? Because it won't accept it anymore, I don't think. Oh, no, well, we can still empty the belt. So if it, instead of feeding that squares now, we just feed it with double stacked circles. It should do what we want. Or we just copy the blueprint to where we need it. One of the two. Wait, we're already doing that one. Ignore me. We just finished it. Uh, we can probably break that belt now and let it finish. It 
is indeed to remove unwanted. Right, so what I want to do is I want to take a square, I want to break a piece off, and then we're going to use that piece. That's the next thing we're going to do. What is all this other stuff? Oh my god. What? <laughs> Are you for real? Like, you're going to end up doing shapes like that? Uh-huh. Well, you're going to have to transport those pieces over on a train. <laughs> Evil. Oh, is that what you'd need to produce the blue pieces? And then you'd have to train them over, I see. Blimey. Guess I'm out on £20 on this game up to buy it. Lol. Okay, let's uh, let's take these squares and cut a piece off. Specifically one corner of it. This normally requires four to keep a full belt running. Yeah, Dave. Just when you thought your head was going to explode. <laughs> Have you not zoomed out yet? <laughs> it's, it's pretty scary out there, Dave. So what I want to do, you want to rotate this, split it, and then rotate the other piece back and combine it with that again. So we want to rotate one of these pieces. It doesn't really matter which way. And then split it. So we end up with that. And then we're gonna take so can we if we go the other way that will be easier. Because then we're just gonna recombine Nope, that's wrong. That's wrong. I wanted that piece, not this piece. You might quit now. Dave, you're under two hours. Steam refund, mate. No, I think I need to rotate it back. That's not going to work. Yeah, I need to rotate it back before I combine it. That's what we need. I need to go back the other way this time. And then we can combine it. There you go. So we got that, and then we've got this piece, which should always be a top right corner. At least get that bit done once we can get rid of this. This is another reason why you need trash, because if you're not using this, you just want it to disappear for now. We've got two upgrade points. Can we, um... Can we get the trash thing? Destroy shapes. 
Okay, number seven. If we do that. That just lets you put things in the bin while you're not using them, just so you can keep the machine running. Which is very useful when you're making a menu, I think. Uh, a recipe. H to get back. What do you mean to get back? Yeah, H for home. It literally said that, Dave. It said that in the instructions, and it even does that when you do this. It goes, oh, press H to get back. Look. Are you lost? Press H. <laughs> it doesn't read either. It's literally on his screen. There's your green blocks. See, now it's starting to look like Trivial Pursuit here. What was red? You need the lone square for the three quarter in circle. I know, Onamichi. That's why I said we're going to take that out of there because we need it for this one. It was all part of my perfect plan. I'm just binning it so that we can make those for now while I get that recipe ready. Otherwise, if I didn't have the bin, we couldn't, it, it would just stop. That's what would happen. Right, control C. Was it? No. How was it we did it again? Shift, like that. Copy. And then. Take that. Thank Rome for saving me five pounds with a link to Games Planet. <laughs> uh, thanks, Rome, and thank you, Lieutenant Dan. How do we? If you press F, it rotates it somehow. Oh, I see. There you go. Interesting. Being able to copy paste is extremely useful. Hoping that's going to come out correct. It looks correct. What's the thing in the middle? That's the giant beast, the shape eater. That's the big nom nom. I don't know. I don't know what it is. No. No, it's perfectly fine, look. It's exactly what it wants. This is the lone square that we're going to eat now. But we're going to put it over here. So now we need the circle, which we're not using this for. At all. So now we need a flat circle. I'm not even sure what this thing made. We'll just nick it. Flat circle, we need to take a bite out of it, and then we replace it with the piece we got out of here, which is always a top right piece. That's what we're trying to do, and then we'll send that. It's a kind of a similar process to what we just did over here, where you take it, it's kind of this bit.
There you go. You end up with the circle there instead. And the piece of the circle goes there. And it looks literally looks like Pac-Man now. Right, now if we can get that piece and get it over here and combine it, I think we're on to a winner. Are the rails and stuff free to build? Yes, they seem to be completely free to build. Don't know how many of these are need. Don't think we can have anything like a full stack. Probably two of them will do. So if we just take out there like that. Squeeze me. I want to yeet this over there, don't I? Okay. Get rid of that now. Pump that into there. Get rid of that. Pump that into there. No, that's completely wrong. Oh, it's rotated. Scumbag. Scumbag rotation. Let's also expand a selection to all structures. Okay, interesting. So this needs basically rotating. Like counterclockwise. Oh, you can't do that, in fact, sorry, just throw pieces around. Okay. So hopefully that counter will start going up. There it goes. It's kind of fun eating stuff, I must have bet. What else can we tackle? So we should be doing the main quest according to this. Is there not a tie-up between this one here, the main quest, 
and this one here. They look suspiciously like the exact same thing, except the top layer is rotated and dropped onto the bottom layer. Like, if you want to make that, you can basically make that. Easily. Circles are smaller. No, it doesn't matter. If you, um... If you take... If you've got two circles opposite each other, if you drop them onto the bottom layer, they'll be that size. If you basically rotate them and then drop them onto the other layer, it'll squish them in. But it, as, as long as you manufacture those two components... The opposite squares and the opposite circles, if you manufacture them, we can use those parts to make both of these. Uh, something just filled up, didn't it? What was it? The three squares, which is not that one. It doesn't want them either. This one here. Okay. We still need to carry on manufacturing them for a minute. Well, strictly speaking, we don't. We can disassemble all this, but we still need that bit. Right. So now we need squares and circles. Oh, I think we'll just take them. Yeah. This can be the circle. And then we can grab squares from over here. gets complicated fast um it's quite clever actually it builds you up in layers doesn't it like it gets used to certain concepts and then adds another layer quite literally adds another layer and sometimes shapes look quite simple but by doing them you realize that there's more to it like i say it's a it's like a factorio combined with puzzle game in a way. Definitely test your mental agility. Right, we need to cut these in half. That's for sure. Maximum three points for these. Start with that. The fact that we need to cut them, cut them again, and then recombine. But how we recombine them is a clever bit. We can take half of it and blend it in that way, and half of it and blend it in that way. Is what we can do. So if we... It says rotate shapes counter counterclockwise and it needs two of them. Does that mean... So the time is 30 per minute and a belt is 60 per minute, right. But because we've split the belt anyway, we only need two of them here. So if we go that way and send that one that way... Which version of the game do you have? The base game or the supporter edition? Whatever Dave sent to me, Armin. 
I don't know. I presume... I presume Dave got sent the normal edition. Press I to clear all shapes and fluids. Oh, what? You can bin the contents? No. Why are you telling me that now? I could have not, like, literally that would have been useful earlier. You can always upgrade. I think it's nine ninety nine to upgrade. Yeah, the supporter edition gives you a bit more music. There's not. I did read it. Um, supporter edition upgrade. Basically, you get a rail loop, whatever that is, and a rail twister, and then an extra forty minutes of music as a soundtrack. I don't know what a rail loop and a rail twister is, but you get that extra. See, these are already too close. But you can cut them and move them. And I like that. So there we go. Now, if we counterclockwise that one, clockwise, counterclockwise that one, Is that piece and that piece now combine? That and that combines. Meep, meep. I shall get the base game then. Thank you. Or actually not thank you for making me buy another games for fail. Literally, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I am not copping for this one, Armin. I'm not copping for this one. There are people in chat, not mentioning any names, Denology, but they were ones who basically said, have you tried this game, right? They, I didn't even know about this game until today. And then the next thing, said people send me the game and send me a delivery to buy the game. And the next thing, I end up playing the game. If you've bought it because I'm playing it, well, I'm playing it because they bought it. So you can blame them, not me. I'm not copying for this. Normally, you can blame me, but not in this one. I'm not even going to consider having a look at any other games right now. Right, so if we take that as a pattern, copy it, and paste it over here. Well, I blame them for showing it to you and you for showing it to us. How's that then? Scross. If that makes you feel better.
Uh, I'm happy you're playing this uh, against us here. You're welcome. Right, so, if we combine that with that... Chat stopped working, please buy the game and restart your PC, Squirrel Ross. Thank you, I'll plug you Okay, so if we combine that with that right now, we'd end up with this shape. If we rotate that by a quarter turn, and combine it with that, we'll end up with that shape. So we will have... Combiners for stuff. And then we'll split this. Send half of it in there and half of it in there. Rotate some of it and send it in. Maybe you can split both and make them one line. Uh, I'm not sure how, if I'm honest. How much were the splitters? Well, the splitters are natural, aren't they? I need some of it going that way, and some of it going that way. The stuff that goes this way needs to be rotated before it's combined. Like that. And then this stuff can just be split and fed in, I believe. What's the purpose of the game? You see that there? That is a giant beast, that is. And it's very it's like a big baby that wants things. It starts off by saying, Where 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 I want this shape. And you give it the shape and it goes, Yeah, I'm bored of that now. Where 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 I want this shape. And you feed it that. And it goes, Where 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 I want this shape. And every time it goes where 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 it asks you for more complicated shapes. And then when you it's finished annoying you with different shapes, it, it'll then say, I want different coloured shapes. So you might end up doing faff like that. And that's the vortex. It's literally just, where, 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 I want this. I'm bored of that now. Where, 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 I want this. That's the game. Informally, that's the game. More formally speaking... Your objectives, your milestones are down here. You have to feed it certain kinds of shape. There are grey circles cut into four pieces coming out of here. So you pull them out of there, you split them, you rotate them, you manipulate them. And you use them. And the same thing here, you've got squares coming out of here. So you've got squares here, circles here, squares here, circles here. And then you play on this factory floor and you feed the little baby what it wants until it says no and then it'll say what it wants next and every time you feed it it gives you upgrade points and you spend upgrade points 
So you, then you can pin that now and say it wants that, it wants that. You spend the upgrade points to get new unlocks. New tools that you can make more things for the giant baby. That's what it's for. So you get rotators, stackers, all kinds of stuff. So we can get faster belts, faster cutting, faster stacking. We can get labels, so we can put labels on them. They get a 180 degree rotator, which I don't need yet. A swapper. Swaps the west swaps the west half of two shapes. I just unpinned them. I was just seeing if she was awake. And then if you get all this stuff, you unlock milestones. That's the big picture stuff. It's yeah, it's like a kind of a it's like Factorio, Tetris, Trivial Pursuit. And your worst ever math teacher nightmare in your head, all combined with a big baby. That's <laughs> the best summary I can give you of the game. Although I think it has trains in it, so there is that. As you will avoid the base platform, you build new ones and feed the finished in, or you will have no room to deliver. Okay. We'll find out all the pain when I get there. So yeah, because green means baby wants it, right? And then red means baby's bored of that now. Stop giving me that. Right, this one here, so you can examine a shape, right? You can basically look at it and go, what is that? Separate the layers out so you can see them properly. Separate the quarters out so you can see them properly. But you can basically see that that is a square on a square with a piece bitten off. That's all that is. This one's a faff. That's a faff. Meep, meep. After that description of the game there, no way one wouldn't want to buy it, Sklarov. Exactly. I mean, I'm the greatest marketer there is. It doesn't seem to be a penalty for giving it the wrong shape, so you can keep chucking them in if you want. Uh, yeah. But there's no benefit either, so, yeah. It's just... It's just what it's really doing is taking up an input line that you don't need to take anymore. That's all it is. No, that is a roo roo roo. Now, that's the noise the baby makes. That's roo 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 dash dash roo 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 dash dash. That's what that is. That's the first layer, that's the second layer. Oh, thank you, Mickey. I can't actually see what you just gifted there, Mickey. I think you just did a highlight. I'm not sure, but thank you. Okay, so did we make this one somewhere else? This double stack square? I seem to remember making it. There. I knew we did. So this here, the double stack square, all we need to do is take a bite out of that, and we basically have this one. But to take a bite out of it, we have to half it, rotate, half again, and then recombine one of the pieces and throw the other away. What was we using this for? Is that dead now? So that's dead now. You can also stack the L shape you already got. Um, where's the L shape? Yeah, I don't know what that is. 
This is all dead here, isn't it? Not sure what that is, Kempo. I can see that what we're doing here is splitting and then rotating. That's kind of half of what we need. We then need to ditch a piece of that and recombine. Is he still going in? You don't know either. I may have already deleted it. This one here... Ah, uh, hang on. This one here is literally making exactly what we want. But with circles. If this was fed square... If this pattern here... Is... Producing exactly what we need. And this... Is producing exactly what we need but no longer because what was coming out there into the bin was what should be going in there because it doesn't want it anymore so if we, we put a bin there you'll see you'll see that what's been thrown away is the piece we need which is this one There you go. We're already doing that. Almost. Except we need to stack it. That's the only difference. We need to stack it on top of itself, don't we? Not going to make it very quickly, but it'll do. There you go. So that's now making what we need. But slowly. While well, you're throwing into the bin, you need a square on top of the bottom one. Yep, that's exactly what I've just done. Now this one here is... A half a circle stacked and a half a square stacked. The main milestone's nearly done, by the way. Unlock. Oh, that's a that's a triple. That's our first triple. That's basically a square with a double circle. New line's backing up. Which one? He yeah, doesn't want that one anymore. Uh, during summer, dusty after that, I don't know. We shall see. The shape goal has been completed. You can now produce the next shape. Oh, good. Oh, my life. It's getting more and more complicated, this. Dave, are you still playing? Have you uninstalled it yet? Wait a minute. That one there? We're already making that. It's like literally a basic shape. I 
I can imagine when you're building stuff on multiple platforms, you just can't remember what you're doing stuff. Here. Your brain's melting. I'm finding it hard to type through my tears. <laughs> Have you got any regrets at this point, Dave? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's exactly what it wants, right there. This what's been going to there can just be sent straight in now. And that will solve that one. that milestone done. I regret a day around 88 months ago at this point. <laughs> oh, wow. I keep north up so I don't rotate. Wait, was it north? Was north? Conflicts? What's all that about? compass. Oh, I couldn't see that because my phone was in the way. Interesting. Never knew we had that. So this one here is basically that. That square you need for this anyway. This one. Because you need to put on the second layer. That square at the bottom there. So you already need that diagonal opposite square, which is this one that we already make. Doesn't want any more of those. Baby's had enough of them. Bored of them now. Only you hadn't gone to I series. Do you know it's, it's kind of weird that, isn't it, Dave? It's weird how like you know what I mean. Like a, a, a chance meeting many years ago completely changes your life. It's weird. Um, why is that? Okay, it's fine with that one. That's been done. Let's try and get this one. Yeah, I blame Ogden too. What's he even doing now, right? Writing sci-fi books. That circle here can be used on... Oh, that's a circle with a corner missing. We was already doing that somewhere. That's that one. There's a circle. Pac-Man is there, look. This one here. You look at this one, the, the bottom layer is Pac-Man with a square stuffed in and then another circle on top. Full-time author, that's insane. In fact, that is the shape we need, isn't it? The one we're putting in the bin, we just need to put a circle on it. That's all that needs. We take this shape here that's being yeeted and instead send it over here. Then we can take a circle from here.
you're going to be playing this once you go off a lull. And then we put the circle on top of that thing. There we go. That should do that one. And it stops us having to um, send things into the bin. We should probably try and do this one. Because I think this one... We already have the components for it here, in some respect. Can this be sped up with more of them, do you think? I reckon that might scale a little bit. That's interesting how it decides which way to send it on a three-way outbound. I don't think you can even do that in Factorio, like three-way outbound like that. Like one, one in and then three out. Why is this take... Oh, idiot. Gonna make him a lot faster. Okay, so everything that's going over here is dead. Shape goal's been completed. That's that one. So we can start using these now for something else, and we're going to need them for this one. We're going to need that as well. So we need to take that and that and combine them because that's the upper deck of that one. That's layer two this top layer here and then it's just sat on a square so we take this take that and combine it that doesn't need to go there anymore that's just running that one into the bin anyway none of that's needed The milestones take you to make bigger shapes. Effectively.
not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. These need to be rotated. You can't sit that on top of that because they'll just squash on top. We need to turn one of them. So effectively we need two of these and then input into that. And that should give us the shape we need. We'll put that into the bin for a second. There you go. So that's the upper part. So now if we just grab a standard square and then drop that on top of it, then that's a win. This square here. is not being used currently. Or we can drag a new square in. Right, so the square needs to go on the bottom layer. So basically just need to grab this and send it up. should combine I believe that's what it wants for the main milestone Lovely. This one here looks fairly easy to do. This is a, a double stacked square paired with a double squack, double squacked, double stacked, double stacked circle and a double stacked square joined together. And we kind of do that here. We merge these things over here, but in a different way currently. But what we could do is just leave that as it is. Use this space here, maybe. And just um, bring that over. Suppose we could split it before we take it there. I can't believe you clipped that. You absolute scumbags. Right, stacker, no, on a splitter, which is that thing. So we need to consistently split them. So we need to rotate everything. It's always facing the same way. It'll have to be 180 rotated, so it'll be double. These two need double rotating. And they only do 30... what's coming out of there?
Right, so if we want to combine that onto that, we need to turn these. Oh, they need to be double stacked, don't they? Hang on. One stack is not enough. We need to take the whole thing and then stack it again. We need to stack it with itself, don't we? Once you go off uh, I'm going to watch the end of Pacific Highway. Oh, you mean the game I played? Hey, there we go, we're delivering that one now. There you go, so we're doing that one, doing that one, that one, that one. The only two we're not doing is this one and this one. Next unlock, space platforms. I don't like the sound of this. This sounds scary. Allows you to expand into the space by placing new platforms. 500 platform limit. More building space for your factory. Good, because I was feeling a bit... Space belt tunnel entrance transports shapes below other platforms. Only works in a straight path. Right, so you can stack belts vertically. Transport shapes between platforms. I'd love it if that yeeted it across platforms. Played Shapes 1 ages ago. I never played Shapes 1 fully enough. Game's been saved. Two and a half hours playtime. 1,015 buildings. Untitled... How do you name your save? Untitled save game, but there's no save as. What do you need to click? Oh, blueprint? Like, what? You never told me about this game. Create a folder. Open the Blueprint Library folder on your hard drive. Uh, the Shackle Blue, thank you for gifting five subs. Really appreciate it. Welcome, guys. If you just got a sub, please give him a big thank you. Refresh your page. Enjoy the lack of ads and enjoy those lovely emotes and access to Discord for a month. Thank you, Shackle Blue. And that's Blue Jackal, in case you don't know. It's like this, you see. Blue Jackal. Folder. And inside Blue Jackal, you have another folder. And inside that folder, you have Folderception. This is amazing. Can you actually create, create blueprints as well, or do you just create folders? Add infinitum. Oh, you can't create mold and fold. deception is your limit. Look. <laughs> Wait, so how do you create the blueprint then? 
Is that a tech unlock we don't have yet? The knowledge panel. Tips and tricks. Sorry, deletion. Pipet clone. I can't quite get the hang of that. Move your cursor over a building or platform. Press C to quickly select it. Oh, yeah. Blueprints. Blueprints allow you to quickly copy and paste sections of your favourite factories, avoiding repetitive work. Do you hear that, Satisfactory? Do you hear that sentence before you go to version one? Blueprints allow you to quickly copy and paste sections of your factories, avoiding repetitive work. It's a thing. Select an area with shift left click, then control C to copy. Blueprints are copied as a blueprint code. <coughs> Factorio. <coughs> to your system clipboard by default so that you can share them with others. It is it's groundbreaking. Blueprint library. Any blueprint can be saved to a blueprint library with control S. There you go. The library can be accessed with the B key or its designated button at the top right of the screen. You can make it easier to identify blueprints by setting a custom icon during blueprint creation or when editing. That's cool. Blueprint toolbar. Any blueprint and blueprint folder can be placed on the blueprint toolbar. Cost. Only in challenge difficulty, blueprints cost blueprint points. You need to deliver specific shapes to generate blueprint points. Interesting. So you can make the, day, the game more difficult and not cost free. Don't know if we've got a pattern worthy of copying yet. Well, that one. That creates random quarters. Not terribly useful. This pattern here that takes... That produces opposite corners. That seems like a nice blueprint to have. Let's try this out. So you'd... Uh, you'd highlight something like that. what we need more difficulty something like that and then we do a control s to save oh look at that 41 building count dimension 8 by 7 by 2 oh I right. okay because we went high on one level um diagonal splitter we'll call it there oh which folder do we save it in though that's the question hmm Let's put it in the blue jackal folder. Diagonal splitter. Okay, let me press the B key. No, hang on, hang on. How do I... Have I missed my opportunity to set the icon? Or is this it? Oh, I see. You basically... So you could do that and there. That's kind of cool. So you create your own little icon and then you can drag that to that. Nice. So when you're building, you can just go B and then 1. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. How many years did it take them? Slump? But yeah, I'll take an extra map. That'd be nice. N. I don't know what N does, but N does there. Shift 7. Find blueprints to the toolbar in the blueprint library. Weird. Oh, I see. Shift 1, Shift 7. Ah. So Shift 1 puts you in your part list. I don't even know what this stuff is. Look at this. It's like a liquid, electric, something, some train, and then Shift 7 puts the toolbar into blueprint mode. They might do, pups. You never know. They might add a new map at some point. Right, quarter past eight, bus stop. 
Let's save that. Cool. Right. That's it, guys. I should be back in the morning. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Don't blame me if you bought the game. Nothing to do with me. You see? Pups, I'm finishing, mate. <laughs> right, guys. I'll be back in the morning. 11 o'clock. 11 a.m. We just finished delivering that now. See? The baby go, where? Don't want that anymore. Where? Don't want that anymore either. Where? You're poor now, lol. Right, enjoy the rest of your evening. What have you doing? You are most welcome, Biff. You are most welcome. Let me quickly see. Nope. Okay. Not to worry. Do I like the game? I can see it's going to make my head hurt very quickly. I'm actually excited to unlock and get a bigger space, a bigger floor space. I feel very constrained here. I want a bigger factory floor now. We've got 10 research points. I just got more than 10. We've got 12 now and it wants to unlock a stupid shape. Although that is that shape with another circle on it. So that's fairly easy. I should probably fix that one thing, yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, enjoy your rest of the evening. I'll be back in the morning at 11 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night.